guys, today I'm going to be explaining how you seal an acrylic keychain using Bright Tone. I'm going to be sealing this USA V Volleyball onto this keychain and personally for me this is better for beginners because it's not toxic to the skin. So I would recommend using this before you use resin but it's just my opinion. So let's go. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just get a plastic bag and put it on the surface that you are going to be doing this on. You are going to need Bright Tone and a bottle. I'm going to use this squeegee bottle so that I can put the Bright Tone in. It does make it easier. I'm, you're also going to need some type of... Well, I'm going to use this elevated surface because I'm going to be using this light so that I can better see the Bright Tone on the keychain. This is also preference, but I'm gonna have this little shelf so when I'm done, I can just place it on there for it to dry. So I'm gonna put this in the corner. Then lastly, I'm going to be using this Cricut tool and these tweezers. And lastly, you're just gonna be having your acrylic keychain that you are going to seal. So I recommend that if you have a surface that you are doing this on, you put some type of Clorox wipe or towel on top. So if the Bright Tone does drip over the side of the acrylic keychain, it just gets caught right here and then you can just throw the wipe away afterwards. Secondly, whenever you get the acrylic blanks, there's usually like a lining on the top and the bottom. I recommend before this Bright Tone, you keep the back part on so if Bright Tone does drip to the back afterwards you can just peel off the extra part so that there's no extra bright tone on the back of the acrylic so first off once you have transferred your bright tone into this you honestly don't need to you can open your bright tone package and just like put it on your finger and like start smearing it but this is a more efficient way to do it as I said before, this is equal eco-friendly and it does not hurt the skin, so it does not matter which way you do it, but I, it's just more efficient this way. So I have this lint-free dry wipe, and what I usually do is, if there's any hair or anything, I kind of just like try and get it off. If there's any fingerprints, I'll try and rub those off, and this is perfect. So once you're done with that, you're gonna want to just look, make sure that there's nothing else. And you're gonna open where you have the bright tone, the container that you have the bright tone in. And this one, you don't have to squeeze. So all you do is you just put it on the top. And you can just start putting it there. You can experiment, I mean, you can then you just use your finger you can smear it over you don't even you can put gloves on too and you just go around the side pretty easy and then you're gonna try afterwards and also you can wipe your finger on off the side of a Clark's wipe too you're gonna make your eye level to the very top surface so you can see if any of the bright tone didn't get to all of the keychains, so I can see some here. You might not be able to see it in the camera, but you can definitely see it whenever you're looking straight at it. You can also add more layers if you want, but I've seen that if you just do one nice layer, it'll be okay, and it goes over. You can, it, it protects the vinyl, and it's perfect. So once you are done, if any does get into the top hole, you can take the tweezers and you can just break it at the top. But this seems very good. Next, what I usually do is I take the tweezers and I take this Cricut tool and I will just use the tweezers to get elevation under it and then just transfer it. So it's kind of like a, a little pizza. 
and then I just put it to wherever I'm gonna have it dry. You can put it on a rack or you can have it here. It is very useful, I really love it. Pretty easy too. This process works very well, it came out very nice. As you can see, there is a bump, but that is because whenever I dried this acrylic keychain, I did not have it. I had it on a slanted surface, so I had to put an extra layer on here, but it is perfect. I did this exact process with all of these keychains here in the back. This is exactly 34 because I am selling them, but as you can see, it's like, it's perfect. And I like, put, you, you don't, you like feel the ridges, but it's totally sealed and it works very nice. I love this process. You could try UV resin if you were to use glitter because this does take a little bit more time to dry around four, four to eight hours. But I just put this on before I go to bed and then I'll wake up in the morning and it's all dry. So it's perfect. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. And if you have any other questions, put them down below in the comments so I can respond or make a video about anything that you are interested in learning. Thank you. Bye.